Joan Liederman is a ceramic artist from Woods Hole, Massachusetts, who uses elements from the deepest depths of the earth. These sediments are drawn from samples of scientific experiments from cores deep under the earth's surface, even miles below. She uses these sediments to create glazes for her ceramic pieces. I'm Sabrina McCormick, and this is Down to Earth, and we're here with Joan Lederman, who is a ceramic artist who uses some of the most unusual and interesting materials, and we're going to talk about that today. How did you start this process? What, how did you get involved with this unique approach? The work with the using marine sediments as glazes didn't happen because I had it all as a do that. It happened because somebody brought me sediment from over two miles down through the water column from the seafloor. It was in a bucket on the deck of the ship that was about to go overboard. And he said, it was really malleable. It looked like you could make a pot out of it. It wasn't soupy. So he brought it to me, and then I was, oh, you know, it melts into a place. So t can you give us, you know, some of the, the places that you've gotten these samples from from around the world? Yeah, you can see it better on a map, but um, uh, the Black Sea, the Mediterranean, off the coast of Israel, where the um, Phoenician wreck mud came from, exit of the Rhone River, Red Sea, Dead Sea, Indian Ocean, Indonesian seaways, South China Sea, uh, near New Zealand, uh, around the equator in multiple places, um, more coming from Antarctica, the Bering Sea, the Chukchi Sea, um, Monterey Bay, uh, and up from the Arctic Sea. So you see the history of the planet by seeing these samples from all over the world. Not only do I see the history, but I have a way of connecting with people mm. that I wouldn't have. Like, I had this stuff from the Chukchi Sea, and I, that's very far north. I'd never heard of it either, you know. And I was reading a book, I like to swim with them. I was reading a book by Lynn Cox, she wrote Swimming to Antarctica. She um, swam for, I think, 32 minutes in 29 degree water or something in Antarctica, you know, no wetsuit or anything. So I'm reading the whole book and she's swimming the Bering Strait and she's in the Chukchi Sea. And I was like, she's swimming, I would just visualize this connection, she's swimming on top and I have the mud and I haven't even used it yet. So the next firing, I used it and I had this piece and I called her up, I would just, on, you know, white pages and I called her up and I said, I have mud from where you were swimming over, and I just, you know, I really want to get a piece to you, you know, and would you give me a call? And, you know, so she called and we spoke, and um, I sent her this piece, and her new book had just come out on this um, swim that she had with a baby whale, Grayson. And she was doing a tour, so she ended up um, coming to Woods Hole, and then, you know, all the Woods Hole community was able to hear Lynn speak because of the Chukchi Sea mud. What? Tell me about like how you got into this. Well, I was a painting major in college. Mm. And I uh, graduated and taught in a private school. I really wasn't trained as an educator. Um, and then I had a life change and moved where there was no private school and where I could get a job. And the last course I needed for teaching certification was ceramics. And it was um, you know, my first year of no school and no job in the beautiful state of Vermont. And I felt like I was just really apprenticing with the earth. You know, I had so much to learn. I was learning carpentry, I was learning gardening. And then I was doing this independent study in ceramics. And I'm like, just don't let me, don't take me away from this. <laughs> I loved it. You know, I just really loved it. it was like, habit that I was supporting, an expensive habit that I was supporting, but I couldn't give it up. And so when the sea mud came, it became, all, everything came together, everything that I cared about came. Wow. Yeah. So it's like just luck. 
No, it's just one of those things. Um, there's a beautiful poem by Alice Walker. I can't recite it for you, but it's about mud and gold. Hmm. If only we could love um, what is plentiful as much as we can love what is scarce. That's beautiful. It's a good poem. Thank you.